join me as I challenge myself to capture autumn in the UK before all the leaves have gone. Hi guys, welcome back. This is Photo How To, a channel completely dedicated to photography. In this video, you'll discover how to capture the essence of autumn, showcasing the beauty of nature during this vibrant season. <laughs> now, as a photographer, you are gonna face many, many challenges as did I and my good friend, Passport. What have you found? Is that your 24 is your favourite lens? Yeah. Really? You don't like it, do you? Uh, so what are you, what are you shooting with there? I'm shooting with a 14 to 30. They go in wide angle. Yeah. Right, let's take off for 10 seconds to start. <laughs> it's a long exposure shot and L. I think mean, it's a good thing to do is to get your camera out and actually see what it looks like on the back of the camera before you take your shot. It's quite moody. I think I quite like contrast. You would like the colours there, like the oranges yeah. and the yellows of the leaves, and a little. There's a bit of light touching that wood. Yeah, that's what I look. That's what I was looking mm. at. Yeah, that running water makes me want to go for a wee. Many photographers struggle to find the right techniques and locations to showcase the stunning autumn colours effectively. One of the biggest challenges, and to be honest, probably the most important, is finding the perfect balance between composition and light. And let's be honest, when the light is right, it can elevate your photographs from being just good to amazing. The UK is home to many fantastic locations for shooting autumn, but if you can't find the right composition, no matter how good the light is, your photograph just isn't gonna look right. Now the biggest problem with autumn is time. Autumn is not here for 12 months a year. It is here for a very small fraction. To be honest, I find snow lingers more than it does with the autumnal leaves, which is really frustrating as a photographer because it's damn right cold. That's what I was about to say, it's had a right the nipple there, isn't it? That would be the Even it's nuts. I'm really struggling here to find a shot. I'm out of breath because I've just walked up a hill. So you've only got a small window to capture your shots. And if you don't plan carefully, you can miss the autumnal colours completely. And as you will probably experience shooting any types of photography, you want to stand out from the crowd as a photographer. So you try and think outside the box. This is another challenge you're going to face. So me and Passport have headed out to some local woods to try a hand at doing some, what would you call this? This isn't really landscape photography, is it? Autumnal tree photography. Autumnal. I want to say posh in the middle. I don't want to say autumnal photography. Did you say autumnal tree photography? Yeah. Autumnal tree photography. That means we're just shooting trees. You might want to shoot a leaf. Mm. Autumnal photography then. Autumnal photography. In the woods. AP, in the woods. Autumnal photography in the woods. That's a mouthful. That's what we're shooting. And it's a challenge. We're really struggling. Location, location, location. This isn't a holiday video. Sorry, wrong channel. Finding the right location as well as the right light can be crucial. What's your favorite location? What part of the world are you from? Where do you like to shoot autumn? Throw a comment down below, I would love to know. You know I just think it, I could tell that you're a landscape photographer. What is that? You know, I can tell. Go on. Not because you've got a wide angle lens on, it's because you've got no lens hood on. Mm. There you go. Mm. Well, depending on what you take, I don't think it makes a lot of difference. It's only big light, isn't it? Sure. If it's like really sunny. Oh, lens hood, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, it's also, it's also to protect your lens. Yeah, yeah, If you yeah, knock yeah, it, yeah. Oh, which yeah, you have a habit right. of doing. Research is key and planning the locations you're going to visit is really important. Just when the ambience and the vibrance of all the colours come out at peak time. Just so we just literally walked about two metres up the path here. I'm just seeing this tree. I quite like it. It's like four, it's like a fork, but with four prongs rather than three. Forks don't just have to have three. No, they, well, I have pitch forks which have two prongs. But do you not like that? Yeah, I do like that. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that, I'd have to go and shoot right that, back down the pathway to get that, because I've got Unless a, you've got a wide angle. So a wide angle would work, but that that looks, I've just, it's really interesting. I took a video and it's funny, I've just seen a shot that I like. Yeah, just, I'd have it two, 250. No, yeah, I've got a, I had it on 15th to realise that. Uh, yeah. It'd be a bit of a steady here. I've got it, I'll knit her up in the ISO a little bit, hang on. I'd always underexpose it. Maybe one stop. 
That shot speed sound is there. What shot speed you got? Mm. Two. 100. All right, drop, take out two, two figures. You don't want that to be blurred. Well, that ain't good. Shot. A hundredth of a second. Well, maybe not. <laughs> That's blurred mm -hmm. there, you And of course, there is the technical aspect. Understanding your camera's capabilities and how you can push the boundaries, how you can be experimental, maybe go a little bit abstract with your shots. Try and capture something that's completely different, something you maybe not have even tried before, but capture autumn in a completely different way. Give it a go. Right, okay, so I take a lot of video, um, but it's quite useful because while I'm videoing, sometimes I can see a shot. And I've just seen this photograph that I really like of these four trees. But what I've done is segregate, so because they're not actually standing side by side, a couple of them are sitting further back, so you've got depth of field. But then when you've captured your photograph, You've got to edit it, so you want to edit it in a certain style. All these elements come together to create your final image. To say this is extremely challenging, really challenging, but some things just... Do you find that um, sometimes something just catches your eye? Yeah. <laughs> One of the most important things, to be honest, not just when you're shooting autumn, but when you're doing anything to do with photography, is try not to shoot the obvious. Don't just focus on the bright colours. <laughs> that is way too obvious. It is there, it's hitting you in the face. Look at details, look at textures. You've got leaves. Look at like all the little veiny things inside, the, I don't know what you call them. <sighs> look at those. You can even go a little bit macro with your types of shots. Rain is great, especially after a massive downfall because it's gonna bring and enhance the hues, the saturations within the leaves, the colours, the look so vibrant. To be honest, you're not going to have to do much editing. But also look at rain droplets, maybe look at reflections, look at leaves within a puddle. The possibilities are endless. So this area is actually quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, All the colour on the floor. So we're, we're both like, we're really struggling. I mean, obviously we just shot that tree, which was cool. But I think when you've got an area like this, and you can see all this colour, which looks absolutely amazing. Um, I think as a photographer, your eyes drawn to it and you want to take a shot, but we can't see a shot. It's, it's really difficult. I think the issue we're having is because we're looking at the area as a whole. I think... Deer. He's got deer. He's got deer. He's hiding behind a tree. He is literally just hidden behind that tree. Then you can look for the way the light leaks through the leaves. Try and capture that. But don't just look down. Look up. Because these trees are huge. Get yourself right against a tree trunk and shoot straight up. It's a completely different aspect, completely different angle. It's something outside the box. Maybe something you may miss. The keeps going behind the tree. We've just seen a stag. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've just seen a stag. Well, it's not a stag, it's a monk jack deer. I can't say deer, a deer. Monk jack deer. deer. With yeah. A deer. With a D, uh, yeah, but it keeps going behind a tree. I'll tell you what, that, I think that would be a shot there if that tree weren't in the way. The lighting on there is pretty good, it just looks out of place, like it doesn't belong. So basically, you want to shoot left, you want to shoot right, you want to shoot up, you want to shoot down, you want to shoot 360, shoot everywhere, yeah. It just looks completely it just looks weird, doesn't it? Like it shouldn't be there. Yeah. Oh, well, look, you've got the colour and then like really tall, thin trees. So, are you the kind of photographer that walks behind people and see what they're taking pictures of and then you steal their shot? No, my name's not Sin. <laughs> All right, Sin. <laughs> and as you start shooting, you're going to see the world in a whole new light. You can shoot this without a tripod or you can do it with a tripod. It's up to you. I'll try it without this. So okay. Tripod, yeah. So, we're going to try a weaver so you... or a dolly shot, as some people call it. So, you need to. You want to have your shutter speed at around about one sixth of a second. Bring your aperture up to about f11. How long do you want this? One shutter? sixth of a second. Not in a rush, are we? We're all day. <laughs> uh, oh, you've got to a fiftieth of a second. Your shutter speed. Bring your no, bring your aperture up to f11. The aperture's your front button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, drop your ISO down as low as it will go. We'll go down to. A Go, 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 no, ISO 64 to start off with and see what it gives you. Okay, then now adjust yeah, your shutter speed. 25th, yeah, bring your shutter speed down now. Now the other way. 
basically what you've got to do is as that shutter opens you've got to zoom in and zoom out at the same time get your focus on one of those trees the anticipation is killing me <laughs> what a mess oh my god look at that how abstract's that that's insane really? oh, so you've got, be, you got to be really yeah, quick yeah, I oh, oh the one that. in the middle yeah, the one in the middle yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I bet you don't delete that one no that's not <laughs> that one that one's more in focus that one isn't it? yeah I think because you just zoomed in once didn't you yeah. So you only do once then? Yeah, once then. Just zoom in. Don't zoom back out. Yeah, that oh look at that, look at the lines there. Yeah, yeah, that's a better one, isn't it? Oh definitely. That's it. Right, drop down, off we go. We go home now. <laughs> Photographs will take on a whole new depth and emotion, and you'll start to capture the essence of autumn rather than just taking candid photographs, which to be honest, anyone can do that. that I find that quite interesting. We've been walking around here for like half hour or so and we've been struggling. But as soon as we start doing these dolly shots, we're sort of hooked. So, so you, you had it like that. I had it like that. And you were right against the tree yeah and i stuck my finger so you there, put your finger in behind and then that kept your lens away from the tree and the camera steady you gonna have a go at that shot i can put my finger there do you want me to give you a finger <laughs> do you know what you're doing no but you could always increase your go up to f11 yeah that's yeah. better isn't it yeah, try and obviously move the lens but don't move the camera yeah i know you can. i need three hands do you want me to put a hand there no, hang on you, you do the lens i'll, I'll do hang on right just keep going let me get it to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's rude. Is it, is it doing it? It took money. I've got to go have a look. <laughs> Damn you, Zeta. Look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the flip screen. There you go. That, oh. <laughs> there. That's insane, that's isn't it? it? That's better, that's, isn't that's it? insane, isn't it? That's it actually looks like a road, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like a road. I don't like that. That's nuts. And that's when the magic will happen. Now, autumn is quite magical. Think about this just for a moment. You have a flat green landscape that basically transfers into a vibrant, fiery reds, oranges, yellows, even browns. All these textures, all these colors coming into one photograph. It's magical. And if I'm really honest, this is getting 50% of your shot right out of the way. All you've got to do as a photographers get the right light and the right composition. The rest is done for you. Morning. Morning. So that, that's the sort of shot I envisage, but with, I mean technically I could cheat and I could just change the colors in Lightroom. Change them like, like they're not that, it's they're not green. Shot, uh, no, I just like the path leading line through the shot. There's quite a lot of depth there too. And it's, we just saw a deer walk across there too, but we weren't quick enough because we're not real photographers. And although autumn is quite a small window, you will know that when it starts and to when it finishes, the colors of the leaves will change. They may become more vibrant. They may lose saturation. So don't be afraid to go out and take the same photograph again in the same location because your photograph will look different. You want to go closer? Oh, yeah, I'm just I'm looking right at it. Sort your composition out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. That annoys me a little bit. Right, so I said move closer. <laughs> annoying twat. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Small thing. <laughs> but if you think about it, where we live, planet earth we're getting really deep now i mean we're getting so deep this is just crazy it's a magical place and you're there you as a photographer are there to document earth i feel like i want to say something really like the final frontier these are the voyages of the starship enterprise what starship enterprise this is a star trek well that's the idea of the abstract type yeah. of shot though isn't yeah, it yeah yeah it's a marmite shot yeah. Don't just use like a wide angle lens, use a telephoto lens, shoot from distance, look at different compositions, different light, look at using trees to frame for example. The possibilities are endless, I could go on forever. Don't be afraid to try something a little bit different. At the end of the day, photography for me is a form of art, so if you want to be a little bit abstract and do something completely crazy and something completely different, do it. It's your choice, and if you like it, that's all that matters. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you give us a thumbs up, it would be appreciated. Don't forget to put a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I'll be back very soon with more videos on photography. But for now, I shall see you soon. Took it, guys.